been a call for a new trade association to represent those who organise big visitor events. As our business editor Jamie DeLaghi reports, the tourism industry has a lot of ground to catch up on over the next few years. At a conference today, all eyes were on the next big visitor draws coming to Northern Ireland. Top of that list is the police and fire games in four years' time. World Police and Fire Games, Jimmy, is absolutely huge. It's the third biggest sports event in the world. To put it in context, it's three times the size of the Commonwealth Games, uh, which is happening obviously in Glasgow 2014. A key organiser of the Tall Ships celebration says Northern Ireland needs a new trade association to represent those running big tourist events. It's a vital opportunity for, for Northern Ireland to have one umbrella body that brings the key players, the key minds and the key, the key thinkers together in relation to developing events and festivals in Northern Ireland. Hi and welcome to any event 2009. What an act, eh? Uh, my name is Michael Jeffrey from Expand Design Ireland, and it's my pleasure to uh, welcome you all to this today. It now gives me great pleasure to welcome um, our uh, first speaker, Alan Clark from the Northern Ireland Tourist Board, who's going to open the conference. The second word I really didn't know a year ago was the uh, concept of a nano break. Now, when we started our operating plan for this year, we talked about the Republic of Ireland market in terms of the current exchange rates, and we said, well, a key aspiration for us would be to try and get people who are coming from the south to stay at least one night, rather than just coming for a day trip to do their shopping in Newry or Sprucefield. How could we encourage those people to stay at least one night in Northern Ireland? One of the focuses for this event, uh, from those who are organising it, is to come up with a trade association at the end of that. How important do you think that move will be for the general events industry and how much will the tourist board be able to get on board with that and, and what, what direction might they be able to, to, to help with? I think that's vitally important for any sector of, of the industry that they do have a trade voice. Uh, it can be very important for an advocacy role into government. It can be very important as a liaison mechanism for us. So we're developing an event strategy, which we will be doing over the next uh, six months. It's really easier to work with the trade association and get their input and really uh, have a partnership approach with them to make sure that we are all working together. But also that with the strategy reflects the aspirations of both of us. And I think both the private and public sectors have to work in partnership to develop a, a successful event sector. We had a, a wonderful evening the night after the boats arrived. We did a, an opening ceremony, and so what we wanted to, show, to do was to showcase local uh, talent, culture, um, and, and creativity. So we had the uh, Cush Clady Choir, the um, Martin O'Connor, uh, Frankie Gavin, and um, we had a, a set piece that we created on, on the water in the dock. It's absolutely fantastic. Such a huge turnout, I can't believe. And I know I'm going to take away a lot from today, I'm going to learn a lot from today and the exhibitors and the standard of entertainment is, is stunning and I think it's wonderful that it's just one day and not you know, a huge commitment by anybody but everybody's here and they're able to do a day and it's wonderful. You know Halloween's coming up so I got this Halloween mask and I made this mask and it's got a brake cable which I took off my eight year old nephew's bike. He doesn't know about that but he will when he gets to the bottom of the hill, you know what I'm saying? Every boy, as part of manhood, is uh, getting an introduction to your, uh, your crossbar at a high velocity. Now David, I was kind of thinking it may be a good idea for everybody here, would you do, do the honours? Just turn around there. Can we have a little more volume on? <laughs> okay, let's give it a testing, okay? Testing, testing. <laughs> see that visiting friends and relatives, the only people that used to come to Belfast stroke Northern Ireland were those that were sent here by their business or those that had, visit, had friends and relatives to visit. Now you'll see business tourism is up to 46% so the pie has got bigger and the share of business tourism has got bigger too. But please look at the leisure market, it's grown from something like 12 or 13 up to 32%.
impressed with today's conference. Um, like many delegates here, we've probably attended a number of conferences. Um, now, I do have a great interest in the events, but I felt that today they did themselves justice. Great turnout with delegates. Uh, over 170 delegates today um, were part of, a part of it. Um, I felt that the actual substance of all the presentations of the speakers was very, very interesting and inspiring. Um, in particular, the the fire, uh, police and fire games. To know that that is ahead of us um, would just lift everybody's spirit to know that they could have a piece of it. Um, so yes, no, the whole day has gone very well. It's great to see some of the exhibitors. Um, I think maybe some more exhibitors could be part of it, but I think that this particular um, organisation has potential to grow. Um, and certainly, you know, I'd like to come back again at some stage.